Um, I'm reading out of John chapter 10, verse 14 out of the NIV. I am the, the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Um, my professor was talking the other day about how when a, a shepherd would go out into the field, he would raise the sheep like his, like his own little pets. He would uh, call one by name, do them all by name. He'd call them by name, and he would, uh, you know, they'd get burrs on them. He said that uh, they would get snake bites, usually from like a gardener snake or something. He would tend to them, uh, fix any wounds or whatever, and send them on his way. And then he would call another one up, and he would uh, do the same thing, you know, take care of him a little bit, pet him, love on him a little bit, send him off, and then call another one up. Um, now I want to read John 1 29. The next day John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And when a shepherd would be raising a sheep, he would know that some of them would be going off to be sold to be a sacrifice. So when he would be raising them, he would bring them to him and while loving on them would feel um, saddened knowing that the sheep would be going off to be slaughtered or to be sacrificed for um, someone else's sins. Um, when God was placing Jesus in the womb of Mary, he knew what was to come. And I'm sure at that time that he was saying, I can't wait for you to return. Um, when God places us in the womb of of our mother, I'm sure he is saying the same thing. That he can't wait for your return. Um, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time that we get to come and um, share share these elements, dear God, that uh, we get a, a chance to reflect on, on different things in our own lives, dear God. And just as a shepherd knows a sheep, dear God, God knows every hair on our head. And he, uh, he really does wait for our return to heaven. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.